Hi, my wonderful students. Can we solve this problem together? Um, you have two square root of x plus one plus x equals to seven. Now the first thing is to move this x to this side. So we have two square root of x plus one equals to seven minus x. So now you square both sides so that we get rid of this uh, sword here. So we have two square root of x plus one square equals to uh, seven minus x square. Okay, so when you square two, you have four. And then when you square this sort, you have x plus one. Okay, if I have square root of a, and I square it, the result is going to be what we have inside. So it's going to be a. So the same thing also applies to this. All right, so now we are going to expand this as 7 minus x times 7 minus x. Okay, so now let's open this bracket. We have 4 times x, that's 4x plus 4 times 1, 4 equals to, now let's expand this 7 times 7, that's 49. 7 times minus x minus 7x, minus x times 7 minus 7x, minus x times minus x, that's plus x squared. Alright, now let's move everything to this side. So we have x squared, now we have minus 7x, minus 7x. Alright, so let's move this um, 4x to this side. We have minus 4x, 49 plus 49. And we have a um, plus 4 here. So let's move it to that side. It becomes minus um, 4 equals to 0. All right. So we have x squared. Now let's add this, this, and this together. So minus 7x plus minus 7x plus minus uh, 4x. That gives you minus 18x. All right. So you had this and this together. You have uh, plus 45 plus 0. This is the quadratic equation. Let's solve. So the sum in this equation is uh, minus 18, while the product is, uh, is 45. Okay, so let's look for two numbers such that when you multiply the numbers together, you have 45. And when you add the two numbers together, you have minus 18. So the two numbers are minus 3 and uh, uh, minus 15. Okay, so when you multiply this and this together, you have 45. You have together, you have 18. So now I'm dividing this um, minus 18x into minus 3x minus 15x. Now let's do that. So this turns to x squared minus 3x minus 15x plus 45 equals to 0. And now let's look at this first case. So the common factor here is x. So when you divide this by x, you have x minus 3. Okay. So the common factor here is minus 15. When you divide this by um, 15, minus 15, you have x. And this is minus 3 equals to 0. The common factor here is um, x minus 3. You have x minus 3. And you are left with x minus 15 x minus 15 equals to 0. Okay, so we have x minus 3 equals to 0 or x minus 15 equals to 0. So x equals to 3 or x equals to 15. All right, now we need to check uh, to confirm if the two um, answers are the roots of this um, equation. Now let's check if there is the root of this equation. So now let's substitute. We have two square root of x plus one and x is three. So that's going to be what? Three plus one plus three. So that is two square root of four plus three. Now two times two. Square root of four is two plus three. So that's four plus three. 
and that is 7. So that means x equals to 3 is a solution. Now let's look at the second one, 15. Let's check if 15 is also a um, solution. So we have 2 square root of um, 15 plus 1, okay, plus 15. And that is 2 square root of um, 16 plus 15. 2 square root of 16 is 4. So that's 4 plus um, 15. So that is what? 8 plus um, 15. And that is 23, which is not equal to 7. So that means that 15 is not a solution. It's an extraneous solution. Right? So the solution to this problem is x equals to um, 3. I want to believe we've learned one or two things. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and also drop your comments. Thank you for watching.